So this is our new space. Hi, I'm going to share a more. Yes Legends, it's vlog 137, vlog 137 on the Miles Holden channel and yes, I'm Miles Holden. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another day in my life here in the Philippines. Another daily vlog for you to enjoy. Jerson, one of the gang gang is already here with uh, Meng, with Salome, hauling dirt. Which is, uh, if you are familiar with my channel and follow my uh, regular vlogs, you'll know that uh, this is an ongoing thing <laughs> we haven't seen the end of this dirt every time i think we see the end of the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel i get told that we have another side full of dirt that is waist deep so um obviously when we started this project my, four or five years ago my father uh, added dirt to that land just to ra rise it up a bit because that area sometimes is prone to flooding so we wanted to make sure that we had extra dirt on there so add that to the original dirt and then the fact that we're raising a tall building with multiple floors not not your usual bung bungalow or two-story building here in the Philippines uh, we're surpassing the second floor um, it means that uh, we had to dig deep foundations and in doing so uh, our deep foundations brought up tons and tons worth of dirt so that's the reasoning behind why we're having to do at least six to eight weeks worth of uh, hauling dirt from the job site over to this piece of land here it's a uh, not not a uh, not a big deal because we have a large enough team to cope with it but ultimately it's getting the job done and we're doing it as fast as we can and uh, the gang gang are enjoying the process of leaving the job site for half a day and just focusing on that whoever gets assigned to that in the morning briefing a bit of a special vlog today well i say special they're all special but a bit of a different vlog today shall i say because today uh, we have access to a new um, piece of uh, what should i say space which uh, we will use uh, and my daddy -o and I will use as an office space uh, while we do this ongoing uh, process of building a uh, dream home dream home for us to enjoy during our vacations here during our holy weeks our Easter breaks um, our office area will be adjacent or opposite our um, job site because at the moment I'm paying the uh, the men at my cousin's bakery and uh, and also doing other things like ordering supplies having meetings with suppliers at that bakery which is there's nothing wrong with it but there's there's no privacy there everyone likes to chime in as well uh, any passers-by likes to come in and have a look at the, the plans and and weigh in <laughs> so I mean there's nothing wrong with it but I just thought you know what while the space is available let's uh, let's have a look at it and uh, we're, we're doing that we're gonna have a look at it today there's nothing agreed in principle yet but let's have a look at it today and see what it's all about and see if it can help us uh, at least we have a place that we can uh, do those those tasks uh, with three or four walls uh, and in our own private space so yeah that's kind of what our vlog is focused on today a bit of a different one I mean obviously there will be construction there will be building work uh, if you're new to my channel hit the like button if you're enjoying the content hit that share button tell all your friends on social media that this uh, this channel is awesome and ultimately if you can do the last solid for me and hit that subscribe button that magic word it helps me out immensely it doesn't cost you a penny 
If you're one of my ongoing supporters, one of my legends, thank you so much. I'm so blessed to have you on board. With all that being said, I hope you enjoy 137. Vlog 137 is imminent. It's coming up right now. On with the vlog. Legends, I've just arrived back here in Sapitan at the Dream Home Building Project. So uh, you'll already see that the beam work with the rebar continues. If you've watched vlog 136, you'll know that our focus now, uh, after that tropical depression, after that uh, severe flooding that we experienced earlier this week, our focus now is on the beam work. So bringing 16 mm rebar up to the uh, next floor and joining the columns together with the, the rebar and putting the stirrups the steel rings around the rebar and tying it all together and then as you know after that the uh, former the platforms at the bottom are placed to make sure that there's a steady uh, solid base to the beam and then the sides will be placed on and then you'll be we'll be ready for pouring concrete into them uh, the east side, the bakery side of the design has the, uh, the, the long beams already on and now it looks like Foreman Rocky was over there preparing the uh, west side of the design for beam work. So let's get over there. Let's get over there. <laughs> traffic, traffic with the tricycles which are motorised and tra traffic with the uh, the CCADs, which are basically pedal bikes, basically that. Okay, so um, let's get up there and uh, give you a more up-to-date look at what's going on. As you know, Jerson and Meng were hauling dirt back and they continue to do that. We look to have uh, received a, uh, a delivery as well of sand and gravel, or sorry, that's gravel. It looks like we have uh, the foreman's happy with the amount of gravel that we have sorry the amount of sand we have so uh, we topped up some uh, some stone <laughs> 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 
See barley toad? That's, that's not barley toad. Oh. But Piriyas, right? Oh, but yeah. Barley This doggy here gnawing on uh, one of the gang gang's bones. I thought it was Barlito and then I realised he's, he's brown. And Barlito is a grey wolf colour. Alright. Alright. Let's get it. Legends, before we go up to the uh, job site or the, the first floor, the gang gang will be having break time soon, so I'm not thinking that it's a good idea at this point to uh, go up there. Let's uh, have a look at this bodega that I'm taking up. Look at the look at the positioning gang. Look at the positioning legends. It literally is in front. There's a lot of dirt, the previous tenants legends have left all their stuff in there So I'm gonna have to get the gang gang to, to clean this, to limp you Bus. Neighbors kita Saprinti, sakilid, neighbor ako Right legends, I've just uh, ascended the stairs or the ladder and now I'm on the first floor. The first thing you'll notice from uh, yesterday's vlog, vlog uh, 136, is all of the uh, stirrups now, all of the rings have been tied onto this front facing beam at the front of the property. So that's exciting stuff. Oh, Daddy-o has just arrived. I already opened it, Dad, just to see. There's a lot of uh, stuff inside. Ready? Oh, look, my gamut pa. So that's uh, oh, while we're while we're at it, that will be our new office legends. It's right in front of the. Uh, right in front of the uh, building site i'll be editing my vlogs from there from now on my comfort of a nice comfy chair it's about trying to it's a marathon not a sprint so i'm trying my best to uh, get comfortable because uh we're gonna be here for at, at least another six months doing the roof doing the interior design Okay, on with the uh, update. You'll know that this long beam is uh, is complete, and this beam here has the uh, base to it, and is waiting the sides ready for pouring. And so it has this. So this looks like the first thing that they will pour. Then I drove in is uh, doing some more tying at the uh, junction at where the beams, sorry, where the two rebar beams collide or meet right in the middle. Mm. 
rears are also tying more on this beam Mustario Hello boss <laughs> Hello Blug <laughs> Hello Blug <laughs> Welcome to Holden Miles channel So yeah, and then you'll know that all of these columns have now been done. That last column that was produced in uh, or poured in vlog 135, yeah, 135. I imagine at some point today they're going to release it so it can dry further in the elements. Noi, you will uh what? you will remove bang por mas uh, last col column today or Mm. Sa dua ka adlaw na sa porma. Foreman Rocky is dealing with the 16mm Kabilia. He's bending it. The Kabilia is the rebar. Ah, he's gonna cut it. Ah. Gonna use our cut off. This cut off has been the best purchase for this project. If you saw my boarding house project uh, in my early vlogs when I really didn't have a clue what I was doing, <laughs> I mean, uh, we were cutting all of this stuff with a grinder, a metal grinder. So having this cut off now just means everything can be done in fives and tens and in seconds in quantities of fives and tens and in, in a time frame of seconds rather than well doing it on a grinder takes at least three four minutes so Meng is already inside getting rid of all the stuff Daddy-o is watching that. Hopefully we can get a nice chair in there and a table. Because as I said, I need to be comfortable. For me to keep producing these vlogs regularly, it's about uh, the longevity of it all, jeopardy of it all. Yeah. You've got to be comfortable. I enjoy what I do, but it hasn't always got to be a sacrifice. At the moment, I'm, I'm literally going to coffee shops, 7-Elevens, wherever I can get a seat. I need to, to put a base up really and this is a great opportunity it's in front of the location and uh, it's actually uh, it's actually a home that my mother occupied when she was a young uh, young child and this home was my father's and this is how they met they literally were neighbors <laughs> a bit of a Romeo Juliet story two houses opposite sides not everyone approved of my dad. So they are bending more rebar to a 90 degree angle and this 16mm uh, rebar at 90 degrees forms the ends of the beam. I'll give you an example. Over here you see the 90 degree end and then once it's all covered in concrete it becomes a very nice uh, angle a very nice rectangular beam and you know inside it's uh it's the good stuff it's the the heavy rebar the strong stuff Jerson continues to uh to give the 
the new office space, the new private space for ours opposite, a, uh, a clean, and removing all the uh, the rubble and dirt that has accumulated there from the previous tenant. Foreman Rocky looks like he's beginning the uh, the beam work at the front, the uh, front facing columns. So these will house the windows. That's awesome. So she, he's using string, piss it, and uh, they pro they provide a a true guide for how to balance these beams so that they uh, they are straight because he's using a, uh, a level, stone level. I don't know if this camera can pick up the string and it doesn't help that the string is transparent white, but it's there. And uh, that basically lets them know where that 90 degree angle should be. Because that's where the window, will put, will, the two windows will join. And that's where they need to put a beam so the windows have somewhere to meet. At the top, the bottom, and then the sides. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. It's just about extending this uh, this beam. This is very intricate work, actually. This is skilled work by far. Um, Foreman Rocky is very experienced, confident as well. I mean, he is literally 12 meters above floor level and just working like he was on the ground. So yeah, these 16mm beams, oh sorry, uh, rebar will be the, uh, will be placed at the front, what they were just measuring there. Just marking the floor, that needs to cut. Sorry, where it needs to be bent. There's a slight bend in the uh, in the bar, which allows for movement in the in the in the beam. Allows for shock. And that's where they will join, I imagine. Definite skill work. It, this uh, you, you need to know what you're doing here. I mean, if you imagine that each one of these 16 mm rebar costs money, so you get it wrong, you you know, 
not only are you uh, you structurally jeopardizing the uh, the project but you're also costing yourself money having to repeat something I hope uh, my wide my wide option lens here is capturing everything that is needed to, to do this job successfully because uh, Foreman Ulysses is on this side keeping the the bar straight while these two are bending it it's, it's intricate work So uh, Foreman Rocky is explaining that it doesn't need to be exact on that side because it will be the former, the casing that gives it the angle. So they just need to get it to a roundabout there and then the former will get it to the exact fit once it's poured the, the concrete. stuff and then uh, foreman rocky is now tying the uh, the beam into place with it with a wire tie
So you now see that the rings have been added to the uh, to the 16 mm rebar. These rings are 10 mm, and Foreman Rocky now is tying all of these rings on with uh, steel wire, a lumbry. Daddy-O is actually here for um, other reasons. We are harvesting the remaining rice at my father's rice land. So he's come over uh, from Ra City. He's taking the car now uh, and getting over there. He's gonna drop over some food for the men who are grabbing or harvesting the rice and putting it through the thresher. I haven't chose to go with him today to uh, to uh, cover that for my vlogs because I've done that. Check out my Rice Land uh, playlist, uh, my agricultural playlist. I have uh, documented that on my vlogs before. Uh, I'm actually very excited about this. We're opening a, a new um, a new office space for ourselves where we can uh, sit down and chill out watching the building work happen. So that's what I'm choosing to cover today. So Daddy O is taking the car over to uh, the other side of Sepian, where our rice farm is, and he will uh, give the men some uh, some food to cook for their lunch. So Nunoi drove in and Joe but looked to have arrived back from the lockup with more 16mm rebar. It's so important that rebar in my design. Um, previous uh, building works that have been undertaken without me project managing, I've, I've come to light recently that they've used other rebar, like they've used 10mm rebar for columns. And that's just not having it for me. I'm not, I'm not paying all that money. Um, and, and the inside of my columns are 10M rebar. We use 10M rebar in this, in this project for the stirrups, for the rings. So I, uh, I insisted that if we're building these projects in the Philippines, I project manage it and I want everything, um, I want everything of the highest quality and built to last. 
hence why all our columns are massive and 16 mm rebar because uh, if recent events in uh, Serangani province have, uh, have come to light how earthquakes are now hitting uh, the Philippines and flooding at least I know that I have done everything I possibly can to minimize any damage to my property that's the thinking and logic behind it we'll see how uh, how it turns out I hope it I, I'm, I'm proven right that we spend just a, a little bit more and uh, and we get the highest quality this is our operator for the uh, mixer he's wondering when his next job will be for this for this slab but uh, as you know we're a bit we're a bit behind because of the weather this week so I don't think we'll be pouring before Christmas but certainly in the new year early new year maybe mid January so these two are doing very heavy duty dangerous work which uh, they're doing with that smiles on their faces but yeah no doubt about it they're, they're working with height with heavy rebar on a busy uh, market street So all of the uh, rubbish that has been left behind by the previous tenant, thank you very much. We're having to clean it now. But Jerson and uh, Meng are, are doing a great job and they're loading it all into the carrow where we'll dispose of it. This is a day of my life. You see how, uh, how crazy it gets. It's just these little tasks that come at me hourly. And uh, I just thought, you know what, I've got to vlog this because it's, it's like this full on every day. And then you add, you add human nature to it, emotions. You add natural disasters. It all becomes uh, a lot. But you know what, we're, we handle it positively and uh, I'm hoping you're I'm hoping that's translating on my vlogs and you're enjoying watching them I spend a lot of time producing each vlog to the best of my ability I select I hand select my music I edit it all myself I'm asking you to show me some love legends hit that like button that share button and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button on the Mars Holden YouTube channel. As well as that, please follow me on all social media, including TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And again, please follow me or subscribe to the Mars Holden YouTube channel. Right, legends, let's, uh, let's check on the work that Jerson and Salome have done. Meng, are they giving it a good clean, a good clearing? There's still some bits and pieces in there that I want to get rid of. But that'll be a nice little private space that we can, uh, we can do, uh, well, I can definitely edit in there. And this is all the stuff that the previous tenant, thank you very much, has left behind for us to get rid of. We will uh, bring this to Dalit, to our other lockup, and give it a nice little uh, sending off. When I say sending off, we're gonna we're gonna burn this. Good old bonfire. Oh,
So Meng is uh, make, making a small little fire that we will then put all of this uh, garbage, this rubbish that's been left behind in that, in that space that we're taking. And we're gonna give it a good old bonfire, get rid of it. Good old fashioned burn. Dad's negotiating for new chairs, banco and la misa. So this is our new space. Ready, 
Yun. Ha? La, la, la. Ini apa masak tu? La. Oh, tadi bos. Contoh ini tadi keluar dari tempat. Kenapa? Nama. Bagami. Ini to clean all of this. That we need to remove all of this. All the animals. Look, it's not even Look. Let's see. Then, then, then. We remove it and then paint it. What, what are we going to use this for? This is, you cannot even look. It's all animal. We move in our place there if we take off this one. What do you mean? You don't need this one. So legends, as you know, today we're going to a uh, disco later with the gang gang, all for a good cause, which is for the elementary school. The elementary school are also doing a parade right now to promote that uh, event. So uh, yeah, enjoy the parade.
Tony. My Hawaiian. <laughs> So you'll see now they've started work on this middle beam which is down the middle of the, uh, the de design
right that's it legends for vlog 137 vlog 137 is in the can i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna go try and edit it now uh if you are new to the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that share button if you're one of my ongoing supporters one of my legends thank you so much i'm so glad to have you on board i can't do this without you i do this all for you until the next time i'll see you in vlog 138 138 is next it's me me myself and i miles rolden thank you